the goalpost. <laughs> they want to know about the goalpost, the famous goalpost. The entire game, we had this like trust and confidence that we could still win at any moment. But when she scored that first goal, it was like, okay, it's goal time. Like we can do this. Let's let's do it. I remember at the after party, she said. You know, I had to make that pass off the board to you because I didn't have the strength in my broken hand to make it direct. And it ended up working out well that she put it off the boards and I was able to pick up speed and skate into it, but I thought that was hilarious. I'm like, the hockey gods must have been with us in that, mo in that moment. <laughs> my hand was frozen, half of it was frozen so that I wouldn't be able to feel it. And I think I ended up breaking it twice as bad playing with it like that in the game, but uh, it, was, it was worth it. No one really talked on the bench after that first goal, but just the look in everyone's eyes and the body language that was showed up on the ice is just something that really stood out on me. How that teamwork and the power of a team can be really powerful. I remember just grabbing my teammates and just screaming as the puck was going towards our net and then when it did hit the post and uh, Megan Augusta grabbed the puck, I was like, oh, we can breathe. The feeling and of gratitude towards that post uh, was probably the best moment of my life. And I thought, just get there, just get there, skate, and as soon as you get the puck, like hoping that it wasn't going to go in, as soon as you get the puck, turn it up ice, get it up ice, get a shot on net so that we could get a whistle. Um, we went and we, we came up with this play and off the face off we scored to tie it up and um, and then looking forward again going into overtime I, we had all the momentum we had in the world. The room was oddly quiet um, and there was just a sense of confidence. Um, I just remember sitting there and looking around at my teammates and and thinking that everyone just looked so calm and so composed. All the hard work that we put in for that nine months before um, together was, uh, and all the adversity we went through was, was, was just for that moment. And we knew that we had all the training we needed and now it was just go out and, and score that goal. The entire rink was yelling, shoot, shoot. And I even had Haley Wiganizer beside me yelling, 40, just shoot it. And I had all that going through my head, but I just, at that moment, was able to stay so calm and composed and make the right decision. She passed it to me, and to be honest, I was hearing the bench like shooting, even myself, I was saying, like, you know, like, shoot, let's go. And I don't even think I looked up when I shot and, and went in. I mean, for sure, when we talk about it, it's quite the game. It's a fairy tale for all of us. I screamed <laughs> through my gloves. Um, tried to jump over the boards as fast as uh, we could and you know we're all trying to do the same thing and um, just skated fast to the dog pile. Yeah you just kind of feel every emotion and you're not really sure how to express every emotion so just these high-pitched screams kind of come out. We created history as a team there in Sochi and I was so you know I'm so grateful and proud to have been part of that team. When you received that medal around your neck that moment uh, I'll never forget about it. It was just incredible that smile just go to my ear. That game really brought women's hockey a little bit at the next level and just to be part of that it's really awesome to, to be able to talk about about it with people that maybe have not watched women's hockey before but that game really stuck stuck in their head and just to see their emotion and everything that goes through, it's something really special.